When did you first become aware uh, of Josh Barnett, the fighter, and and when you first saw him, did you think like I'm probably going to end up fighting that guy one of these days? Uh, listen, when you're fighting uh, for big organizations, especially like UFC, we, I think we we, pre we start fighting like pretty much the same time. And I fought, uh, he fought. I remember his fight against Pedro Hiza. Uh, it was a good fight, you know. And uh, I was champion. He was a champion. He left UFC. I left UFC. I am back in 2013, back in UFC. He's he's in UFC right now. So uh, sooner or later, yeah, I think like uh, all heavyweight is gonna meet, face each other. Is this the right time for you guys to face each other? You guys have been up and down the ladder, and it's been so long. Listen, I. I I don't know. Like I said, you're supposed to fight uh, back in uh, six, seven years ago. That fight uh, didn't happen. You should ask him why. Uh, yeah, better, better later than never. So, I guess, yeah. So, do you think you said you should ask him why? Do you think that he was trying to avoid a fight with you? I know, I know why that fight, why it didn't get, happen. But I'm not gonna spread, start any rumors, any conversation about that. So it's like I think it's. I'm gonna be politically correct. Did it leave a bad taste in your mouth, though, about Josh? No, it, it didn't leave anything, but uh, instead of a uh, fight of him, I, I fought anyway. I make my mind, so no bad feelings, so it's just, just, we didn't fight back, 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 like I said, six, seven years ago, we're going to face each other, so, and uh, plus he called me, and I, inside MMA, he called me an old man, so uh, we'll see. Yeah, he said he asked for this fight. Did that surprise you? Ah, he asked. Ah, good for him. That's, you see, everybody want to fight Arlovsky because Arlovsky has a name, so <laughs> it's good. Um, what's your opinion of his second stint in the UFC? He came back after a long, long time off. Um, how do you think he's developed as a fighter, and where do you think he's at in this point of his career? Uh, no doubt, uh, he's still dangerous. He has a great uh, <clears throat> wrestling skills, grappling skills. He has good. He he is a good striker. Uh, I know for, for for the fact he spent a lot of time in in a boxing gym training as a boxing coach. So it's going to be a tough fight for me. I think a lot of people though would probably say if they were breaking this fight down, he's probably going to try and use his grappling to neutralize your striking. Is that what you're expecting? Of course, of course. If he's going to be desperate on his feet, he, if he cannot do anything on his feet, he's going to try to take me down and uh, finish on the ground. Do you expect a long, uh, a long night of work on, on Saturday? Listen, of course, I would love to win the fight in the first uh, round, first minute, but at the same time, I'm ready for 25 minutes. Real quick, because about 25 minutes, I, I saw his fight against uh, Roy Nelson. It's, they went like uh, five rounds. It was went for the distance, and um, he's a pretty good shape.